Well, hello there. Hi. Jessica here, AKA Make of My Passion. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Hey y'all, it's Jessica, AKA Make of My Passion, and welcome to my channel. As you guys can see, we're in a different location. It's slightly different, slightly. We're in my bathroom, and we're in my bathroom because I'm about to do a perm rod set tutorial for you guys, or attempt to. This is my first time and I'm nervous. Keep tugging at my robe here because I got clothes on. We ain't trying to make it that kind of channel, okay? Anyway, I will be doing a perm rod set for you guys on my natural hair. I've been getting into my natural hair and rocking my natural hair and have been loving every minute of it. Lately, I've just been doing this wash and go here, which has been amazing. However, I want to try some different styles and bring that to my channel. And I'm hoping it's as informative as I think it's going to be. So yeah, once again, my name is Jessica, AKA Make It My Passion. If you are new to this channel, hi. You see I'm tons of fun. Go ahead, subscribe. Come on in to this little makeup community, this little beauty community. We are a hundred and fourteen subscribers strong. I am so proud and I'm so happy about that. So come on in, make sure you join, hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload. Never. Not once. Not a single time. As well as like this video and share if you guys find it informative. Comment down below, let me know what natural hairstyles you guys want to see next. I'm just getting into this, so I am no expert. But we learn it together, okay? We're gonna go down this natural hair journey together. Alrighty, really quick. I'm gonna show you guys some of the products I'll be using today. Hold on, let me pull out this little tag. This is kind of ghetto. Pull out the tag off the products. You know, you don't wanna expose yourself. Okay, so first, I will be using the Jane Carter Solutions Curl and Go Curl Drench Co-Wash. So that's what that looks like there. I'm hoping y'all can see that, you know, you know. So I'll be using that to co-wash my hair. After that, I'm gonna part my hair into four sections and then I'm gonna come in with the, see look, still got the tag on stuff. Just get out, just get out. Hold on, one moment please. One eternity later. And then the tags don't want to come off clean. They want to break into pieces. Don't nobody got time for this. Okay, there we go. Next, after I part my hair into the four sections, I'm going to come in with the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In, like so. And then I'm going to use the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Wrapped Foaming Mousse to be able to wrap my hair around these perm rods. And today, I will be using the orange perm rods you can see here. Alrighty guys, so let's jump into it. I'd be lying to say I'm not nervous because I am, but we still gonna give this a go. Um, it's about seven something, almost eight o'clock here in Los Angeles, so I know this is gonna take me till about midnight. All right, so this is true dedication, but I'm doing it for you, all right? And with that being said, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so here, excuse my voice, uh, my allergies are kicking my butt, but anyway, here I'm just working a co-wash through my hair parting it in four sections and detangling it with my large comb and now that I'm done co-washing it I'm gonna start putting the rods in so the method that I was doing was the hair was already damp so I added a little bit of that leave-in conditioner the not today leave-in conditioner and then I added a little bit of that foaming mousse and then wrapped it around the perm rods like so and yeah that's pretty much what we did for my entire head even though, of course, this is sped up, no lie, this took so long and my arms got so tired. But we made it work, you know? We made it work. So, pretty much do that same method throughout your entire head, like so. I got a lot of hair. And I'm wrapping the perm rods pretty tight and then making sure that I clasp it over. Yeah, I made me do this. Okay, so now I'm about to be sitting under this dryer. It is 9 o'clock. This is going to take at least an hour or two to dry. Y'all see all that conditioner? Why? I will be here under this thing for the next three hours. Don't get your snacks, sis. You ain't going nowhere. Okay, so this is the next morning, and I was super excited. I sat under the dryer for like two and a half hours, and I let it air dry overnight. So I'm like super excited and eager, and I start taking them down, right? 
right? And at first it seemed right, you know? And then I hit this one patch of hair in the middle that was still wet. And then I noticed that a lot of the curls were still wet. And in that moment I knew. Oh, hell no! So yeah, I knew that this was a no-go. Per my set wear, wear and I had to be at work sis I must have slicked that back so quick threw it in a little puff ball made sure my edges was laid and she was still cute you know she was still cute and professional for work but that little that little soul glow fro we had that morning was not what we was aiming for so I wasn't gonna upload this video but I decided to upload it because I wanted to show women that just because you see it on Instagram and they, they got it right doesn't mean that it's always going to go right or that was even their first time trying out, let's say, a perm rod set. I just wanted to know that mistake. I wanted to let you know that mistakes do happen. And it's okay, sis. We learn from them and we'll reconvene. So I'm definitely going to do another video. I see where I went wrong with this perm rod set. So I'm definitely going to do another video and try to recreate it again give it more time to dry also too i'll be honest that not today leave-in conditioner i did not like that at all so i know to stay away from that so with natural hair and trying new natural hair styles and products it's definitely trial and error so this was an error that i just happened to learn from that i don't like that leave-in conditioner and clearly my hair needs more time to dry so I hope you guys found this video informative. I, like I said, I just definitely want to show you guys that mistakes do happen. And it's okay, dust yourself off and try again. So until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.